Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of The Sims 3 where we are playing with the Chicken Nuggets Legacy. And unfortunately, uh, the last episode kind of got befunkled. Uh, the reason being is that I tried to record as I normally would. And then I forgot that I wasn't recording as I normally would. So, in other words, I recorded the entire gameplay. I just didn't record my voice. And to be honest, I'm not going to bother going back there and changing that. So, what I will do is that I will add the, basically, episode in. Just sped up times four or something. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. And the reason why it annoys me is that I got something amazing done last episode. I followed a tip. That I got in the comment section, which was to go to the future, get a winning lottery ticket number, then go back in time and buy a lottery ticket. So I did. And what happened was that I earned a million simoleons, which means that I have bought and upgraded pretty much everything here downtown, uh, which was insane. <clears throat> then I started complaining a bit about the lag and how it was kind of destroying the game for me. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, so I decided to now play full screen from now on because I've been playing it in windowed mode and I figured that was kind of a bad idea, apparently. Because I can already right now tell that there's a huge difference uh, playing full screen right now. So I hope everything records correctly this time. But yes, uh, I will now just zoop through uh, the entire episode from uh, last time. Uh, I'm very sorry that it wasn't recorded correctly. But that's just the way. There's nothing else exciting happened at all because, uh, to be fair, like things are going by so slowly right now in game. That I think it was only a day or something, and the loading time from getting back in to uh, future kind of took a long time. So, so you know, there wasn't anything really too fancy that happened. So I'll just leave it there. So yes, here you go. This is what happened in the last episode. Of this let's play.
happy? Well, I'm not, but still. Uh, so you saw me there at least spending a lot of time over here in town, just buying up everything. I am so looking forward to this Monday, because then of course I can just gather all the money, which is what I want. Hi, what's this? It's a mushroom, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I'm not too happy about uh, the snow. Uh, as uh, people who watch me play The Sims before know, should know, I absolutely detest snow in-game. Uh, for no other reason than it just lags up the game usually so much. It's just like pets, they're just an annoyance for me. Uh, Bunny, why don't you actually do your homework before you go to sleep? And then... I was wondering if... Judy, maybe you should stop tending the plants. I appreciate you doing it, but... Uh, you should also actually write an article. It needs to be a hit, because then you can deliver it for some job performance. And Patara, you need to share local team gives back to sports community or whatever. Uh, Patara, no, Pat, Patara is not here. Patrick, you need to, you need to, normally I would go tell you to get a new athletic skill thing. So, well, yes, let's actually do that. At least work out. You can do a quick burst. Okay, somebody has moved. I don't really care as long as they move into town. Yep, I asked to eat if chicken nuggets to marry me, and amazingly enough, she said yes, they did Malik McKnight. Ah, uh, does that mean they're actually married now? Let's see, because I knew they were engaged. No, they're still engaged. They were being engaged forever. Ugh. I'm looking forward to see Chrissy grow up, though, because Chrissy had elf bears. She's a true chicken nuggets. Yes, Patrick, good. And then do a quick burst, please. Because then you get full effect in a short time or something. Uh, apparently, it still work out a bit more before you can get a skill increase, which is fine, which is fine. Then you take a shower, then you tend the garden again. Because we're kind of like behind in our guard duty, I'm just saying. And why don't we we'll flush? Okay, it was flush, never mind. I, I remember just thinking that was so disgusting back in the day whenever my Sims would refuse to flush. Okay, okay game! Apparently, did not like me zooming in on Robert. Uh, it's kind of rude. Uh, and yes, there was no progress on uh, Patrick flirting with uh, sisters, uh, you know, his normal pastime activity. Uh, just, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to happen anymore, If it, uh, because right now I need to concentrate on actually doing what I'm supposed to do, which is to make a legacy work a bit too, you know? Oh yeah, and it seems like Betty broke and Bob, uh, no, Betty UB and Bob UB are fighting. The poor people. Are you harvesting now? Yes! A bunch of lime. Good. Because we need to sell the lime. Oh wait, did you actually... Oh! Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. Um... Why don't you... Is the consignment store open yet? Can we buy the consignment store? Okay, no, it's too expensive. But of course we will eventually. No, it's sort of... store is closed. Okay, but that's fine. Um... Okay, you won't make it before. Work hard. Another snow day! There was a snow day yesterday too! You guys didn't see that because, you know, again, things crashed, but... I mean, good for you, Robert! That means that you can sleep in again, but that really means you should. What? What, 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 what? Pat Lisa Simpson! Okay, I need to ca- I- Why are, why are my kids the only ones who are teen- ah! Like, why? No, 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 sorry, Bob. Teen pregnancy is not supposed to happen this often. No, 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 Lisa. You know better than that. Patrick is now twice a grandfather. That's so creepy. Please don't tell me that you, and of course, Theo is still totally, totally fine. 
just got to work already. This is disturbing. Ugh. Okay, well, Robert, what are you gonna do today? You've done your homework, right? Yeah, good. I was just thinking, you're gonna want to become a vocal legend. What do we actually need to do in order to become a vocal legend? Okay, we earned some money from that thing. Winter Festival is soon here. Luckily, it's gonna fall on Sunday, so we don't lose a day of work because we want the money. Oh, I am just so shook. Let's take a picture of your newborn granddaughter. I don't think so. Sure. I wouldn't mind uh, working out for three hours. Actually, can you read the newspaper? Then you can have something to eat. Then you can take some classes, actually. That's a good way to spend your time. La la la, dude, it's such a moneymaker. It's Lindsay, the new member of the Chicken Nuggets clan. It's Tawana, the new member of Tawana Adams. No more fancy names from the Adam family, huh? Adam's, Adam's family. Now, read the newspaper again. Ooh, hello. Patrick's athleticism out on the beat has attracted the eyes of the scouting agent for the local pro sports franchise. And they were offering a spot on the team. They were going to start her sort of in the professional sports career. Now we could keep his job. Evan Burchett. That sounds more familiar, but I might be wrong. So many kids being born. I like it. Emily Workman. Nope, I don't know you. Okay, but there's nothing else interesting. You can just stop reading, Robert. Have some breakfasts consisting of cake and... Yeah, Judy, you can come home. And you can start tending the garden again, surprisingly enough. Actually... Sure, we don't need the money just yet, so tend the garden. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, you're good, you're good. Patrick's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to undercover specialist, as well as a bonus of 2,052. A few criminal cells have proven to be tough nut to crack, and the brass needs you to go undercover. Black bag operations aren't always pretty, so you'll need to be ready for the gritty and trying life of a thought, thought criminal. Work hard and bring the case to justice that reigns from above. Kudos to you who get that reference. Um, da, 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 da. I was going to do something with Robert. Yes, he was going to go and uh, manage the dead. Apparently somebody's building an igloo at the graveyard. That is slightly inappropriate, but... Okay, so it's a snow day, but we can still go to the prom. Is that what you're telling me? I don't like prom. You're not going to the prom, Robert. Unless you really want to. Okay, so two pets, but... Evan Burchett, I'm, I'm uncertain if Evan Burchett actually was... I was gonna place these randomly out there. Like, Evan Burchett, I don't necessarily remember you. Like, do we actually have a Burchett family? I am uncertain. So, we're gonna place it there, but I, I actually don't think he is anything of note. Okay, Robert, you were going to take a bunch of classes today. No, don't heckle the kids. Stupid. You can, first of all... Social networking, no. No. Sure, it's in a cooking class. We don't need a cooking class. Fishing, no. Sure, guitar class you can do. I don't want rhythmic tongue classes, but it sounds like dancing, so let's do that one too. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Athletics class, sure. I was also thinking charisma class. Like, it might be a snow day, but now we've got things to learn. Totes what I would do to my own kids if they were in that situation. Oh, 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 oh! Patrick! We need to remember to buy more grocer or more uh, lottery tickets. Can you please hurry and just buy as many as you can? 
Oh my. Chris oh, that means that this, the Singh family is still alive. Crystal Singh uh, never had any kids before now, I think. That's nice. Kermit Smith seems, seems like such a... No, oh, we don't have time to go out and buy a lot of our tickets, do we? Because the drawing is on 7 p.m. So we'll only be able to buy that one. Yeah. I doubt we're gonna win something with one lottery tickets, but still, worth the shot, I guess, worth the shot. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. I did not expect to win anything. Ah, uh, this town has turned out a bit differently, or a lot differently than I originally thought it was gonna turn out to be. I think in a good way. I think. I'm just so looking forward to Monday, though. All the money I'm gonna get, earn. But yes, it seems like the game actually has sped up right now. I'm still trying to, like, make three, three days approximately per episode. Um, and, like, lately it's been one, so... It's been kind of weird for me, but... Uh, hopefully now it will pick up its pace a bit. Are you still doing okay, Judy? Well, okay is an overstatement, apparently, but at least you're doing something. Marship the Joba. Still don't have that much as I would have hoped. Okay, you have perfect patties now. Outstanding cheese only. Why don't you have perfect cheese? Maybe because you haven't fertilized anything lately. Okay, when you come home, also you could also try to. Alright, you have a curfew. Okay, so stop the charisma class thing and just come home. Yeah, and tend the guard. That's very important for a young man to yourself. How many days are you? Oh, you're still well, like ten days away from becoming an elder. No adult. <laughs> Seems like you and your father will grow up on the same day. Well, no, oh, she's actually becoming an elder next episode, approximately. Oh, that's kind of creepy to think about. <laughs> Look at this happy family just working on. <laughs> Whatever they're working on. <laughs> Kuba Chiba. No! Was that Edith? Edith, did you split up with your. <laughs> Aww. Well, you're both gonna die soon anyway, so, I mean. It's almost tempting to rename one of the um, restaurants after Edith, because, you know, Edith was a uh, chef. But Gale Cyclops. Oh, there's gonna be so many cool kids ahead in this town. But I'm gonna have to stop adding in new families now, though, because it's gonna really kill my computer, I think. Well, yeah, go and eat something, then, lady. It's not that difficult. Robert, you think you're done? Oh, sure, you're done. Just no, you don't have to go. Ugh, I hate when my sims do this. Like, you can stop laying down in bed and then not falling asleep immediately. You know, that's not how it works. <laughs> uh. la, 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 la. Sorry, should maybe comment a bit more on this thing, but... Oh, right, you have to get an athletic skill if you... Why was it quick burst or was it push itself? Should be fine. You just take a shower first. Uh, but like, okay. Luckily, no. Never mind. I thought these were dead plants, but they're actually just flame fruit. Actually, okay. Oh, the, the garden was actually fully, uh, fully treated. That's nice. I wonder, like, should we make a robot or something that can do all the gardening for us? Uh, that would be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, sure, Judy. You can actually then... I mean, there's no point for you to actually going to sleep, though, because, like... When you go to work, you'll be able to... Push some. There we go. Do that for as long as you can, buddy. Oh, you will be able to finish three hours of it. That's nice. Da -da 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 
there. Oh, that's one hour down. That's one and a half. Oh, it tracks it over here as well. Sorry, did not know that. Two. Hey, Judy, you're supposed to go to work. Good work. You have the mood mobile or whatever, so, you know, just do it like that. Oh, we haven't got enough here. I just think it's so hard to multitask in this game. Like, it was much easier in distance, too. Yeah, boy! Oh, my, we earned a lot of extra there. You don't have work today, though? Yes, you do. Okay, get to work. Is it a snow day again? It's the third snow day this week. That's kind of not how things are supposed to work. Waggles has a brand new home right here in town. Little puppy was recently adopted by Edith Chicken Nuggets. You like adopting things, Edith. You like adopting things. But hey, Robert, I got good news for you. You might be home all day, and your homework might not be due yet. But you can always garden. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to do? You look better, you can run faster, and now's not a fair chance to apprehend any criminal foolish enough to run. Your boss feels confident enough to give you a job performance increase, and a pat on the back. Aw, uh, thanks, boss. I'm gonna now stop being undercover, because it's kinda creeping me out. Da. What? Apparently... Uh, I don't know what else. Edith and Petra are hanging, are hanging out, which I don't mind. I mean, but like... Please don't do anything that family members should do. Because that was kind of creepy. La, 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 la. Judy, you keep getting like these bonuses though. Judy was taking a uh, break out back when she saw a sketchy looking Sim badgering one of her co workers. Judy stepped up and started snapping pictures, scaring the bad guy and making him leave. The co worker was very thankful and told everyone what had happened. Judy received a bouquet of roses made of simoleons on her desk. Like, really, Judy? You, you're doing a very good job. Okay, well, can you just go home and tend the garden together with people? Uh, people, your son, and. I was just crying for grandkids. Still, still young and still in high school though. Why did are they still sticking together though with their with their baby daddies and baby mommies or whatever you were supposed to say? So that's nice, but still, it's like please don't do stupid things. Okay, you just want to paint? Sure. Actually, we're just gonna make you a bit happy. Go paint. It's fine. Okay, that's kind of sad, because Holden Smith is Kermit Smith's father. And apparently his unpopularity is making it difficult for him to... ...keep in touch with his son or something. That's just sad. Well, I know you hate the outdoors, uh, Robert, but you're doing a good job, if you ask me. It comes to... ...just, uh... ...you know, actually gardening. I'm quite impressed with them, actually. Du, 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 du. Mmm, perfect cheese. I wish, wish I had a cheese plant. Cheese is expensive. At least where I come from. At least real good cheese. Or maybe that's a Norwegian thing. Well, you are inside, Robert. That's the magical thing. You're not outside anymore. You're inside. Ish. Okay, maybe you should stop painting soon, like, finish a painting, that's fine, and then you can come out here and garden. I know this is boring, I think I'm gonna stop the gardening process after this, basically. Um, after all of these plants die, it's just getting a bit tedious, and now we own so much of the town already that, to some extent, there's no point. I don't know what you got, I wish, fulfillment for it there, but sure. Master of Seduction, no jealousy, fertility treatments, you got nothing, you got nothing. Okay, you don't have a lot of life at this point, Judy. I feel sad for you. Yes, yes. Make this happen. 
an attempt to keep a local harpy off her case, Bella got recently attempted to bribe Eleanor Smith. Eleanor took the 162 simoleons and immediately commented that Bella may, might want to consider a plan to help improve her Rajman flattering figure. But mom, Marlena gave me the money, honest! There was a squabble recently over some cash that mysteriously appeared in the hands of local brat Kermit Smith. Money that the parents of Marlena Martinez say belonged to her child. Who would you believe? Well, since Kermit is a smith, I would obviously believe him. But I guess that's just me. Just look at cards, not burger patties. How, how do you ensure that the burger patties are not uh, influenced by the grass? Or whatever you should say, not influenced, but like, tainted by the, by the foliage. Is that the word? I'm not sure why I had to say it in such a strange way, but hey, foliage! Hey, who are you? Paparazzi again? Yeah, whatever. I don't care about paparazzi. We're still. Okay, Judy is still a one star celebrity. Lindsay is already a toddler? And how come you have a kid who is still just a toddler himself who's evil and clumsy? That's nice. <laughs> Du, 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 du. Hey, Rob, why are you done, Patrick? Did I say that you could leave the, leave the gardening station and actually make some food? This household doesn't require food. Haven't you noticed? Like, Robert eats at school. And Judy and you use a food mobile thing. Oh, crap. It's gonna... Well, it's Friday, though, so... Go on to take a shower, then you can go to sleep then you the next day. Fine, you eat and then you sleep. Happy? Go inside, fulfilled. You're most welcome. George. I don't know who George is. Like, who they are. Is that one of the siblings' kids? Gifted a sum of 36 simoleons by Edith Chicken Nuggets. No catch, you just smell the purple grasshopper and taste very ostrich, so I thought I'd insert some spare change. <laughs> Edith, can you just die of old age already? You're ancient. I'm not saying I don't want you alive, I'm just saying that, you know, you're insane and you should be dead. Okay, and then actually, no, do not clean up. Just hurry to the bathroom and use the bathroom. Then you can sleep, and I know you're super sleepy, but that's kind of a nice feeling when you know when you're super duper sleepy. Aw, Edith Chicken Nuggets has been left frail and alone in her home. With no one, no one left to take care of her the home once they are gone, her estate will have to be auctioned off. That's kind of sad. But I guess that's, that's life. Such is life. Such is... Okay, some random people I've broken up again. It happens all the time. Wait, what? I have to about potty train Lee? No, 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 no. That's not your responsibility. I know he's your kid, but you haven't even met him. I'm sure he's going to be super handsome, but, like, it's not your kid. Don't get any ideas. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> you know? Uh, actually, Judy, I have a much better idea. Go here and match that. Because then you will... Troop. Yep. Then you can go here to make a snow angel, because then you will also bzoop. Right? Can I get the bzoop? No bzoop? Bzoop. Come on. Bzoop. There we go. Bzoop. No, don't talk to yourself. <laughs> Those are kind of fun. I've never seen a ghost making a snow angel before. <laughs> I like it. Love is in the air for the perishing thing on Shangmin X-Men. So many divorces. Uh, but yes, can you actually manage that though? Why is that so difficult for you? Thank you. Who are you? Evan Long. You are a sim in this house. Or in this uh, place. So you... I'm gonna have to place there in the meantime until we know where to put you. Eventually, I'm going to have to add some benches here and stuff so that these dead sims actually have somewhere to sit once they 
come out of their gravestones to haunt us, because right now they're a bit, uh... How should I put it? They're a bit too... Actually, I don't know what to say. Oh, they're a bit too just standing around doing nothing, and I feel kind of bad for them. Also had some places for the animals of the town to sleep, I guess. But hey, guess what, people? It's after 5 a.m., so, like, the garden is back in business. Ooh, we have a visitor from beyond the grave. Where is it? I'm gonna guess Marjorie. Where are you, Marjorie? Oh, it was! Ah, oh, cute. Are you still asleep? No, you can totally uh, do this. Hey, 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 Patrick, you are so not done yet. No, don't talk to self. You actually just... Yes, there we go. And hey, Robert. Ugh, oh, this family's just working so wonderfully together. Can you imagine how boring this would be? Like, they're super rich, and yet they have to do, like, gardening every single day. <laughs> I would have been so pissed off at my parents if they forced me to do gardening every day like this. But hey. No, 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 no. You are supposed to tend the garden. It's not that difficult. They're really, sometimes they're so rude towards me. Ooh, look at all these moodlets. Unfinished room. That's it. <laughs> having a blast. You're not having a blast? Oh, your fun meter is actually kind of low. Okay. Chris the chicken nuggets was very forthright when she asked. She was asked about the 280 simoleons that exchanged hands between her and local gigolo John Subroke. I require the services of a professional and receive them. What is the problem with that? Ugh. That's icky. Again, sorry about this. It's just, it, this is so straightforward. It's just, this has to happen every single day. And I know it's kind of boring, but it has to happen. And then today, I will finally sell things at the consignment store. I'm just gonna give everything over to Judy, since she is the boss of selling things. Especially these delicious steaks. These delicious limes. These okay flame fruits. And she's just gonna consign the hell out of everything. You've done your homework, that's good. Because I mean, it's starting to become quite a lot to consign here right now. 26, no, 36 perfect steaks. Yowzers. Wow, for once they were actually going to be er, done pretty early. And Robert, congrats, level 5 in gardening. It's impressive. Seems like great minds think alike. Or rather, that's what people are saying about Gambit X-Men. Now part of Theo Smith's little gaggle of nut balls. <laughs> that does not sound good. <laughs> I love it. The gaggle of nut balls. That's a word or like a sentence I have to use a bit more often. Or a noun or whatever. Da, 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 da. Aren't you guys done soon? You have to sell things. I'm kind of desperate to get this over and done with, with selling. I'm wondering though, uh, do I want to... We can just use the lime for the challenge, because I, I want to be able to make Omni plants at one point. I, I messed up last time, I know, it's just... It seems like Patrick will be the or yeah, Patrick will be the first one to reach gardening level ten here. And I think that's when you can start to receive those opportunities. I should accept more opportunities. You guys are still not done okay. Robert, you can start taking care of yourself a bit. Go shower for an example. Okay, actually yes, you're right. I have some left oh no, don't take out the entire cake. Just have leftovers, have some cake slices, 
because that's what every normal person has for breakfast, then shower, then watch some TV, actually. Well, you guys, I don't necessarily care, so care so much about. Du -du -du -du. Du -du. I mean, what are you wearing? That is so last season. I mean, really? Do you not have any fashion sense, like, at all? Snorted Elnor Smith after taking one look at the ensemble that Malik McKnight was wearing. Very smooth, Eleanor. Very smooth. Okay, are we gonna assume that that was it then? Sure, let's go... Oh, it's probably close now, isn't it? 6 p.m. Sounds like such a... Uh... No! I, I guess we just missed it. And crap, I for... Edith has died! Oh, I'm sorry, Edith. I loved you. I really, truly did. Aw, oh, that's sad. But it was about time. Let's give her a proper burial. You know what is kind of tempting? It's kind of tempting to have a secondary graveyard where I bury the chicken nuggets. I'm gonna have to consider that. You know, chicken nuggets that are not part of my family. But that are direct bloodline descendants and their spouses. Because, you know, I want I want Edith to be have a happy afterlife. Okay, but I think this episode has gone way over limit of what uh, what it was supposed to be. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna call it an episode now. Uh, in the next one, we are just basically gonna continue. I know it's not the most they're not the most exciting episodes right now, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it basically. <laughs> deal with it. And I am sorry, but it's just yeah. That's just the latest. Uh, anyways, I've been a wedding gamer. Thank you for joining me for this episode. See you in the next one. I've been able to speed up a bit, and that's really nice. Uh, but again, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.